All right. Hello, it's Sarah, and I'm back. I have baked my votive. It's all done. Let me come in. The next thing we're going to do is antique it. Look at the difference. This is my big one that I did. You see how, oh, I guess I shouldn't have zoomed in that far. Hold on. Look how this looks rich and I don't know, that's the best word I can use. And this is just really bright. Look, I ended up putting um, curtains in the windows. <laughs> but I love the bright color, but I can't wait to antique this. And so we can see all the detail on that fern. Oh man, wait till you see. So it's going to come out. And then we're going to add, um, we could have added mica powders before we baked. And then it would have been, um, I'm putting gloves on because this is a messy process. And I just don't, I just have my nails fairly decent and I don't feel like, uh, I have the gloves. So what the heck, right? And all you need to do this is black paint. So let me get, you know what, this isn't, it's ivory black. I'm going to try this. Um, no, I'm not. No, I'm not. I'm going to use a more fluid paint. So this is just black craft paint. And I'm just going to put it down on my craft mat. Come on. It's a messy process. I'm going to get a paintbrush. Just a really rough brush that's, you know, you don't need something nice. I just want to rub it in the nooks and crannies. And I'm going to start, and you know what, it's kind of funny, all that stuff I did in the beginning, like making the, the background clay, the brown, all striations and stuff, we didn't need any of that, but it's okay. I don't know. All right, so I'm just going to go into this paint, and I've got some paper towels and water, and I'm going to start by applying this black paint. Let's do this fern, and really get it on there and we're going to wipe it away. It's scary and I never, I didn't like this idea. I was like, oh my gosh, we're covering up all that gorgeous color. You know me and color. So you just do a section at a time. <laughs> Look, I ended up putting curtains on the windows. All over this section. I put little uh, pin, like little dots in the, um, what is this, the scallop. I'm getting it down in the nooks and crannies. Is that a big enough area? Then I have, I've just soaked this paper towel and you're going to wipe it away now. Wipe that black paint off where we just put it. So let's just start. A lot of it stays on there and I'm very rough and you can pull stuff off so try and be gentle but you have to get it off and then we're gonna bring back some of that pretty shimmer and shine with uh, see look see how it stays in the dots Uh, sorry, I was saying um, we're going to bring back the shine with um, mica rubs, like pearlescent rubs, metallic rubs, all types of stuff. So it'll be pretty, don't worry. This just, I mean, it might not be your cup of tea, but honestly, it adds such a richness to the piece. So it takes a while, so I might not do the whole thing on camera, but see, watch, if I just wipe across the yellow, and now you're starting to see it stayed in the nooks and crannies of the uh, curtains, and in some of the places on the grass and the flowers, I'll wipe a little more off the door, all right? Like in here, I don't really need it. 
can't get it out of there. Sometimes I'll use a Q-tip and uh, all right, so I'm going to go around the whole thing just that way and come back and show you at the end. Let's do one more part. Let's do the door. Don't be afraid. You just do it. And it is what it is. The door really looks cool, though, because you'll be able to see the, um, the little crossbars. of the door. It really makes them pop. Alright, so that's the door. And do I have any clean spots of this? So I have like, I had about three or four paper towels at the ready. And let's just start wiping away. starts to get such a richness and in all these nooks and crannies I don't love it in there but you gotta do it and then you can come back like I have this uh, q-tip might fit in here take it out of there a little and you can work it later too but don't be too rough because you can break the clay but you can work it out of there and you can make a little point out of your paper towel too and kind of stick it in there yeah there see I got a lot more out so take your time do one section at a time and I'll be back when it's done and then we're gonna add some um, metallic rubs and stuff okay so like that side's done that side's not see how bright it'll be good don't worry all right, you guys, I'll be right back. Okay, I'm pretty much done. I did lose one of my pieces of my shutters. This, I've just really squeezed this one out and I'm just going over for the final uh, windows. I wanna get it off the windows. And just make it look neater on the windows. Um, it's, it's really a cool effect though. It's so rich. And see, I don't mind that it's in those nooks and crannies. This is a little dark right here. Up in there. I don't love that. So I just kind of rub it and I got it. I got out some of that. So it's still, it still moves, um, like right in here. Let's stick the towel in there and kind of wiggle it, and it just picks it up. I did it on that one too. I like it though. What else? Um, see how it got the black stays in the um, nooks and crannies and gives it so much definition? Let's see if I can take some of that off. Because it would be shadowed in there. You know, it would be shaded. It wouldn't be um, bright underneath everything because that's going to be in the shadows. That's what I tell myself. <laughs> I'm really squeezing that out, getting all, most of the water out of it. Just want to go over the tops of the yellow here. My curtains. And 
and I'm pretty happy with it. My fern, we're going to bring up some of the details. You'll see. Wait till you see that. Just getting it out of that cutout. There's a piece of tissue that. See, like there's no um, black in that, and there's nooks and crannies. All right, so I'm pretty happy. After it's all dry, when the paint is dry, you can scrape it out of these little um, glass sections in here to get the uh, glass clean. And see, like there was a ton of paint in there. I'm pretty happy and this is a this is a dry one now it's kind of dry so I'm just going to pick up any moisture that's kind of just really wet on there and then I'm probably going to hit it with my heat gun a little bit too just to pick up any real moisture that's left and then I'm going to um, show you what we get what we can do with the uh, mica powders the mica rubs All right, that looks pretty good. It it gives it such a rich feeling. Oh, MJ. I love it. So see uh, this one in the back. I I looked in my tissues. I thought I probably pulled it off and I could find it. But I'll just cut another piece of purple and I'll glue it on there. Alright, so I'm going to go away, get cleaned up, and come back and show you the next step. Alright, so I have some of these. These are called Inca Gold and they're by Viva. And they are basically, it's a, um, let's see what it says on here. It's a paint. I think they consider it a paint. It says... Fast drying metal gloss paint. But it's like a wax, I guess, or so I'm just gonna take this orange and I'm gonna hit my orange flowers that I did. I did orange and yellow flowers. And the orange butterflies, I'm gonna hit them. Um it got on the grass, it doesn't matter. But all of a sudden, it's that shine is back. There's a little orange there, and if I get it on some of the green, that's okay. Let's put a little on the ferns. Just a little. Whoops, that was a lot. A little bit on the ferns. See how it picks up? I hit the purple a little too much because I have a purple. Um, where else? So I got my butterflies. Um, this fern. See the detail on the fern? Alright, let's do... I want to try this gold rub and buff on the yellow. I'm going to put... Because I don't really have a yellow. I wish I did. I have the gold ink of gold but it's all dried up so I have this pretty gold it's not all dried up but I have this gold leaf I want to use this instead and you just need a little a little goes a long way so I'm just gonna hit it in the centers of all these um, scallops I have a lot of colors so you could just do all gold everywhere and I think it would add so that just adds shimmer I can totally see that I'm gonna put a little bit of gold on my ferns and on the grass gently just gently let me zoom in and show you 
see you can see the little swirls on the grass I'm gonna try and just pick up see that's too much the rub and buff is so creamy and it goes a long way I just want a little bit but it brings out the texture that we put remember I don't want that that's too much I must have had a glob on my finger and I didn't know it so see where else I could put a little gold Nah, I'm gonna put a little green let's see I've got it on the ferns because I'm gonna put blue on I might I want to do a few of the leaves I don't want any globs see I have a glob right here on the leaves I just want to hit it hit and miss like this just if it gets I don't think it really got on there I think I got a lot of orange on this leaf all right well let's see what else do I have this blue is turquoise Inca gold I love this and it's nice and juicy so it's gonna wipe my fingers Oh, excuse me. A little stomach growl or burp thing. I don't know. Just a little. See how I'm. And then I'm just going to brush. Let's do the fern. Can you see that? Absolutely gorgeous. some of these leaves I want to catch the edges and I want to hit the vine I don't know why I just love that blue on all the green stuff I love it love it love it you know what I didn't do is the yellow flowers I have some pink why not put some pink how about because I have purple too but this is kind of dried out too I'm gonna have to add a little squirt of water just get it a little softened up this will mess up your manicure too but I don't like doing this with a glove I like this so I can feel it and I just want to gently touch the door I might even have to get a brush to do this because I just want to gently hit the edges and bring out those raised areas. It's working. So see you might get discouraged with all that black paint all over your brightly colored clay you can bring it back I want to touch the door but it's hard because there's oh I managed and when you turn it I think I got all that I'm gonna have to bake a little piece and glue it on there. I think I hit all the purple. Maybe a little purple on my leaves. Maybe a little purple on my ferns. And what else do we want to do? Well, let's see what the green's looking like. I might as well try the green. But that's it, basically. Then. I'm going to let that dry a little bit. I, I might hit it with my heat gun. I think I missed this one with purple. Um, and I'm going to put stickles. Yep, I missed this one. On my butterfly. Butterflies. And you know what? I want to clean off the white a little bit if I can. Sometimes you can't. Um... 
what was I going to do? Green. And I have this red. This is called Lava Red. I don't really think there's anything on there. I mean, I could hit, I think I'm going to hit the curtains with some of the pink. But I want to do, what was I just going to do? The green. Just because my leaves seem a little dull. I'm going to take, put some water in there. I don't want to get it all over me. came to life, didn't it? Oops. It really came to life when I hit it with that green. Boy, that just came to life, didn't it? little bit on the grass. So you could just go crazy. This is insane how cute this is. Okay. And then the pink. Let's just put a little pink on the curtains. I don't know where my lid is. Right here. Looks like this is the purple lid. Um, pink. Might be hard to get it down in there because got it. It's dull and then it's bright. And see, it only gets on the high spots. So that's what's cool about it. Let's see if this. All right, you can get carried away. Just do the yellow one since I don't feel like getting another color. Um, what else, guys? Oh my gosh, I love it. I think it turned out so cute. I can't believe it. But that antiquing, it just kills me. It just, whew, it makes it look so real. I don't think I put any on this uh, one yellow flower that's front and center. Right here. Listen, I can't help myself. See, I just popped that bud. Pop that bud out. All right, all right. So then the last thing you could add, I have what I did to my guy here, all the centers of the flowers, I put a green dot, oh, you can't even say, I'm not in the shot. A green dot of liquid pearls. This is, uh, let's see, I think I used this color, look at that. Yeah, I think I should. Or a yellow. I think yellow could look pretty. Do I have a yellow? Because I have stickles, which is glitter. I don't have a yellow, which is more of a pearlescent. So I have this green, this teal. I, don't, I only have a yellow stickles. And that might actually look pretty. But I think I'm going to go with the green. Then I'm just going to use plain old white stickles, which I'm running out of. All my white is upside down. And I'm just going to put this on my butterflies. See, it's not even, I think this is empty. I might have a full one in there. Oh, there we go. And you don't need it to be thick. Just a thin coat is fine and give some sparkle to your butterflies because it already looks pretty oh man with that ink of gold on it and then you just jazz it up even more 
Oh my gosh, so pretty. How about we do it to all the orange flowers? I can't help myself. I love bling. Blinging it up. Alright, and then I am going to do the centers of the flowers with this green. And I think we're done. And then this will stay inside, so I wouldn't varnish it, but I've heard people have left me comments and stuff about varnishing or when you use these metallic rubs that they can come off. But because I am... Um, my thing is clogged because it's not going to be handled all that much. I guess if you're making jewelry or something where it's really going to be handled a lot, it could rub off. Oh, it's not really coming out that fit that good. Um, and I would just use my regular old varnish that I use, like for painting. Um, I'll probably spray it with my workable fixative first and then varnish. Here we go. And this is hard to make it, like am I in the shot? It's hard to make it sit down and be a little dot. It gets a little, um, like Hershey Kiss top to it. And then I smudge it all over. Sit down, will ya? But I gotta do it because it just looks so cute. That's kind of big. And this is pearlescent too, so it just adds another little bit of shine. I really don't want to mess up my glitter. I don't even know if I'm in the shot. All right, I'll come back and do a final share when everything's dry. Be right back. Okay, it's all done. I love it. And I'm gonna zoom in. And I hate that I'm shooting this from above. Maybe I should get my other camera out. But here it is. And I just think it turned out so cool. That um, antiquing really does it makes it it see i gotta add a little i lost one of my parts of my shutter the antiquing really just makes the difference i'll tell you and then adding all the mica rubs to it just brings it back up you know i ended up taking the silver rub and buff and going around all the bricks we did all that brick work and then i covered it all up so maybe next time i would try not to cover up so much of the bricks but i i tried to hit it where i could to make it so you could see it under there all right you guys so i hope you give it a try and um i'll post a picture on facebook of it with a candle inside. I just think it's adorable. Alright you guys, thanks for watching.